I think this is an interesting time. I think that people are interested once more in formulating a different society. I think people are, are kind of bored of being exploited. They're bored of a cultural narrative that uh, supports elitism and it exploits the people. The planet is being destroyed, we are creating an underclass, we are exploiting poor people all over the world and the genuine legitimate problems of the people are not being addressed. I suppose what's happened is, this is what I believe in mate, is that certain cultural narratives are promoted that are beneficial only to elites. These cultural narratives are not true. I think of uh, contemporary bipartisan politics as a meaningless spectacle designed to distract you from where power truthfully dwells. Politics just needs to be the administration of certain spiritual principles. Now, for me, the spiritual principles are important is that we are all one, we're all together, and every individual's rights need to be respected. I think that we need to see, the, uh, see politics as the implementation of spiritual principles of oneness, togetherness, tolerance of one another and making sure that people are taken care of. This is what I think. I think we need a spiritual revolution more than a political one. I believe profoundly in, in the power of humanity. I believe that we're connected. I think there's an inevitability to us, uh, to a successful revolution. I think this is a change in consciousness that we're experiencing. I feel that we will survive. I think there's going to be radical changes. I think that we need to be looking at the world as well. We're pretty worried for your new, new world order thing, but I think we need to look at the world as one inclusive entity. We need to look at what, how many people there are on the planet. We need to look at the resources that are available and what's the most sensible thing to do with that. I think that's going to be a massive change for the power structures as they currently exist. define yourself in reference to other external coordinates, you must define yourself internally with your relationship with a higher entity. Think of yourself as a manifestation of some higher thing, some higher frequency. This is the visible realisation. And you know that because you can't see atoms, can you? And you certainly can't see the forces that hold atoms together. There, in the micro-quantum world, Richard, lie the answers to everything. We can't understand it without logical, rational minds, but we feel it intuitively. Get yourself in alignment with that stuff and you beam like the sun. I suppose the ultimate truth is oneness, that this is a temporary illusion, that, uh, that we are temporarily occupy these flesh puppets. We believe, believe so much in our identities, we believe in our individualism, and I talk as a very sort of egotistical man, look at my hair, look at these bracelets, look at these ridiculous boots. I'm a person who believes in the nature of my own individualism and my own identity. But on a deeper level, I recognise that all these things are transient, and what's important and what's defining are the things that we all share, love, unity, togetherness. As long as we have cultural narratives that eschew these ideas, that suppress these ideas in favour of of uh, negative human traits, greed, selfishness, lust. As long as these ideas are promoted, we will exist in opposition to one another and we will be exploitable by corporations that prey upon these negative facets of humanity. There's going to be a revolution. It's totally going to happen. I don't, not, not only I ain't got a flicker of doubt, this is the end. This is time to wake up. 